Thanks for being with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Weekdays of Bernie segment tonight. The White House Press Corps outraged because the Obama administration banned the press for an event celebrating the 45th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. I mean, this is a big deal. America getting to the moon first 45 years ago. Neil Armstrong walking around. You had a higher country celebrating back then. So why on earth wouldn't the president want press coverage? On behalf of the Correspondents Association, I just want to lodge a formal complaint about the Apollo 11 event today. Still's presentation of that limits television coverage of that event. We believe that that is a classic definition, something that have, should have the broadest press coverage imaginable. Joining us now from North Carolina, Bernie Goldberg has been investigating. So I, I don't, this to me, for the life of me, I can't figure this out. Do you know why? Well, well I'll give you a, possi a strong possibility. <laughs> What if one of the astronauts goes up and says, Mr. President, I think you made a big mistake by gutting the manned space program. What if another astronaut says, Mr. President, it's humiliating for Americans to have to hitch a ride to the space station on a Russian rocket? You think, you think the president needs the press around to hear any of that? Okay, no. But, 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 wait, 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 wait. They could just do that remember. anyway. They could do call Look, the two guys involved, uh, Aldrin and Collins, they could do that anyway. They could hold a press conference and they could say that. Um, it's right. different. It's different if you're right there yeah, with, the, with the camera. And, and by the way, let's not forget that this is the same Barack Obama who promised us that he would have the most open administration the most transparent administration in American history. It, yeah, sure. But, but to my friends at home watching this, please do not believe that this is evidence or one more piece of evidence that the press is finally getting tough on Barack Obama. It is not true. The press is miffed because Barack Obama is treating them like children, telling them where they can go and where they can't go. When they show some interest, in the IRS scandal, when they show some interest in Sergeant Bergdahl, who is off the radar screen altogether, then maybe I'll, I'll reconsider my position, but not until then. Okay, so you think that they, they were told they couldn't cover this and their egos uh, were, yes, or, or that, feelings were hurt, but I still think it was a dumb thing. But I, I can't imagine either. Well, Aldrin's pretty feisty. Aldrin is a feisty guy. So maybe they were, Collins wouldn't do it. But maybe they were worried about Aldrin saying, you know what, we used to be a great nation in space, now we're not. Right, exactly. And, and uh, Mr. President, please rethink it. Embarrassing him, worldwide Hitler. Eh, possible. <laughs> All right. Um,